Hello, I'm John Bowman, Medical Officer for Adventist Health here in Tillamook. Over the last two to three weeks, I've become increasingly concerned that this wonderful vaccine that's been created so miraculously is not going to be used. We need for 70 to 80 percent of the population to get this so we can eventually get back to quotes normal. I don't know what that will look like in the future, but I know it's better than what we have right now. The vaccine is safe, it's efficient, it works, and it cannot cause disease. Well, this is a unique brand new virus, which means nobody's had it before, nobody's immune, we're all susceptible. It's highly infectious, um, and unless we develop some sort of immunity, we're all gonna get it. And that's what I would like to avoid. So herd immunity comes from the farming community and implies that a certain number of individuals, cattle if you will, have to be immune to a disease to prevent a pandemic wiping out the entire herd. So we need to get to that level where there are enough people vaccinated or immune, whether it's naturally acquired from obtaining disease or from the vaccine, in order to prevent a pandemic spread. We live in a free society, and I wholly support your decision to use or not use this vaccine. I just want to caution you that if more than 20 or 25% of us decide that that's not for us, we will not attain that herd immunity that's necessary to get rid of this virus. So when we look at the development of this vaccine, there has not been a single step shortened or avoided to accelerate the development of the vaccine. But instead of doing one step, continuing to two steps, to three steps, to four steps, to five steps, we have shortened those courses so we're doing step one and two, three, four, and five simultaneously, which has shortened the development time from years to, in this case, nine months. So in the case of the Pfizer vaccine, there has been about 36,000 patients studied in the study. In the case of Moderna, it's about 44,000. That's a total of, excuse me, it's about 34,000. That's a total of 70,000 patients that were well studied. Of 70,000 patients, there were no, zero serious complications. There were a few allergic type reactions People got headache, people got fatigue, people got body aches, but there were no serious reactions in 70,000 patients. But I believe that it's extremely safe, it's been well studied, and no shortcuts were taken in the development of this vaccine. So that isn't possible. The vaccine cannot give you the disease. This virus is a type of virus called messenger RNA, which is a single-stranded helix. This is only a single-stranded piece of genetic material, not a double-stranded. It cannot penetrate the nucleus where the DNA resides, so it does not manipulate the DNA. So we're only taking a tiny little bit of it that cannot replicate the virus. We're coating it with a lipid, a fat if you will. That's put into the injection, it's taken up by the cell, and then the cell manufactures the spike proteins that we find on the COVID virus. So it's not possible to get the disease from this vaccine. I believe that someone has to go first and someone has to go last. <laughs> I think there's plenty of time for us to fall in line where we feel comfortable. I want to thank you for listening to what I had to say and seriously considering the use of this vaccine. I think it can make a difference and I think it can get us back to normal, get us away from using all these things that 
are so distracting and so non-personal. Let's get back to life that's normal.